We are all piled in our van for a great adventure today. Hi, Is everyone in here? I'm Hi, Toby. Toby, who are you sitting next to? Toby. Who is that? Toby. That's Karis. Who is that? Toby. Chloe. Hi. We are crammed in here and on our way to look for more space in a vehicle. We're looking at a Ford Transit today. When the twins were born, we went from four kids back there to six, which that was a little bit of an adjustment, like learning how to get kids in and everything. But when they were in their infant seats, it was just like the little base in here, so we could still move the seats forward and let people into the back. But now that they're out of those and they're into regular ones, we can't move the seat forward. So the kids in the back have to climb over the seats to get in. Which and Toby loves. Yeah, Toby loves to climb and go back there. But it makes it a little bit more difficult to get kids in. Plus they're climbing over the car seats and getting them all dirty. Are you excited looking at a 12 passenger van? Um, well, we bought this car expecting it to last us for a long time. That's why we got the eight passenger. And then we had the twins. <laughs> so we could we carry. Yeah. We and thought we we're like, we're going to get an eight passenger van. That way we can take two more people with us when we go on rides. So when grandparents come and visit, we can all ride together. We weren't expecting to get a new car yet this soon. Um, but the kids aren't getting smaller. They keep getting bigger, their legs keep getting longer, and it's inevitable. Like, it's either like sometime this year we need to buy a new one, whether it's today, this week, next month, sometime, like, it's just it just has to happen. Look at this big this thing. It cracks me up. It's gigantic. Oh man, it's way bigger than our minivan. Go get in the driver's seat. What? Go get in the driver's seat. We gotta see if you can hold hands well in it. Oh, yeah, okay. The true test of the car can we hold hands when we drive? Rest? Me and Toby I don't really like usually like driving with armrests. Oh, that's weird. Toby <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a specific oh yeah. This not, bad? Not, not bad. About the same same quality to van. <laughs> just kind of hold hands. It's not super comfortable, but it works. You guys want to sit there? I don't know. We gotta let's we'll get the car seats out of our car, out of our van. I want to sit in this seat. I think I'm gonna take that seat out so it's easier to get in and out from the <laughs> I told side the, door. I told the kids that's the timeout seat. You'll have to show them. Oh. This seat, right when you come in the front door, there's a little aisle right here. It's just nice to get in into the back. But I think we don't need that seat, so I think we might just take it out and make it easier to climb on. Except for there's a vent right there, and I wonder if everyone's stepping on that, getting in and out, it's gonna put a lot of dirt from shoes down in it. Hmm. Plenty of room in the back though, to throw double strollers in and joggers and stuff and pack for our trips. We're gonna put all the car seats in here and see how this how this actually works. What do you think, big girl? Hmm? Do you like this car? You think we should get this one? Hey, that's not yours. That's your sister's. Here you go, Karis. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We're trying to get all the car seats in here. And it's kind of working. We got one of the twins here. We would prefer to have the twins facing back where this one. On the back of them for like a garbage bag or something. Or hanging a purse or something. I don't know. But that seat doesn't fit back here backwards. I need you to move so I can walk. So we got a booster think? seat there. That fits one booster forward. seat here. If it's forward. Oh, does it fit forward okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. You just, these things have to come down. To do oh, I didn't know we had adjusters on there. That's cool. <laughs> and then we have another. Toby and Hallie in the back, on the way back here. There's Toby's seat and Hallie's seat, and then those two in the middle will be open. And like I said, we would be taking this seat out. Look how much room we have in this car now. <laughs> Got all the car seats and everything in it. It's kind of like, hmm, a lot of free space in here. How's it going back there? Nothing fun. You guys getting ready to take, our, take a little car ride, test it out, go for a test drive? You want water, Toby? Getting thirsty? We can get you some water. One of the things that's a little bit weird is that these windows go down, but these are the only two windows that go up and down in the car, and it's only this section right here. That part over here doesn't go up and down. All of these other windows in here stay shut. You can't unroll them or open them at all. So this is gonna be like the only fresh air, natural air, unless we use air conditioning all the time, or heat all the time. So you kids are getting fussy. Ready to go take this thing for a test drive? It took a lot to find a spot for everyone to get buckled up in here. But uh, I think we finally got it and it's 
it's definitely a, a chore. But I guess that's the, I guess that's how it goes with six kids in any car. Time to have your first wreck in a 12 passenger van. This thing is <laughs> a bus. It's so much bigger. I'm glad Very, you're driving. Uh, this is gigantic. Yeah, way bigger than the van. Or the pit. Oh my goodness. I'm nervous. I don't. This is why I don't want anything bigger than a minivan, but I don't think that's an option for our family anymore. I don't want to drive something this gigantic. Why don't you, Mom? Because it's really big, and I don't want to, I'm afraid I'm going to wreck or hit something. Can I can't help but just to laugh at everything in this van because it's just gigantic. I think I just need to come to terms that I have a large family, and I need to embrace the large family lifestyle, I guess. Is that lifestyle. my problem? How about life, large family expense? Yeah, like, that's more Tim's issue. Mine's the lifestyle issue. issue. Like, look at, look at the visor. You can't look at it. It doesn't even fit in the screen while I'm sitting here. Grandma, I gotta back up. And when you were, when you were a little kid, you didn't have a big family. I didn't have a big family like this when I was a little kid. And I never pictured myself having a big family. I thought maybe two or three kids, not six. But they're fun, I enjoy them. It's just totally not what I expected. I mean, it's nice, all that space back there. Mommy. You like it, Hannah? Uh, we better not have quadruplets next because that would take up this whole entire thing. <laughs> we better not have quadruplets next because then they would no. take up the whole van. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan on avoiding the quadruplets. <laughs> that's what happened to us with the minivan. We're like, we have two extra seats, so we had twins. Now we have four extra seats if we got this, we have four triplets. The plan is not to fill up the seats with kids necessarily. <laughs> and we thought we would have one baby, but instead we had two. That's right. God has a lot of surprises for our family. I think he thinks it's fun. It is fun. We're enjoying it. We enjoy our blessings. It's just totally not what we expected. Dan is trying to drive. You're going through like a little neighborhood, trying to see what it feels like on some back roads. like with tighter turns and stuff. <laughs> but it's gigantic. It's definitely bigger than our minivan. That's why it's called a minivan, because it's mini. This is just a van. <laughs> it has a backup camera, which is cool. Put it in reverse. And then you can kind of see like when you their, back their up. Driveway. Their driveway. Try, it kind of predicts a little bit, I notice, when you're when you're backing up, so you can kind of see where like if oh, you turn a center line? Yeah, but if you turn a little bit and it'll mm -hmm. give you it'll predict know, where you're gonna kinda Well adjust. you gotta turn more than that. No, it's it's moving. I'm no, not I'm not playing around with this thing. <laughs> you just wanna it makes feel comfortable. Nervous. So far so good. It's gone like ten feet. <laughs> yeah, nice job. And I thought maybe you had to take this the turns a little wider. But you don't really have to. Oh, you can, it's completely normal. Yeah, you can turn, you can, from what I was experiencing looking in the mirrors, it looks like you can just drive it like our van. So. Yeah, this makes me nervous having another car come. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we take up the whole road. <laughs> it's only about two inches wider than our van, our minivan. How's it going for you kids that's in the back? You guys like it? Yeah. No. You got more space than you did in, the other, in, the, in our no, minivan? I don't. You don't? Well, she's next to Are you crammed next to a baby? I'm not. Hannah, would you rather have her on your other side then? Yeah. Would you rather have her next to the window? And then you can have more space I next to you in the here. aisle? I'm here. Yeah. Hannah and Zeke, why don't you all switch spots and test it out and see what you think? Yeah, maybe we can. Because Zeke has lots of space next to him because Karis or Chloe's next to the window. Oh, yeah, this is better. Does that seat feel better? Oh, you want one that feels better? How does that, that seat feel back there? Cramped. Cramped? <laughs> so I guess the verdict is the twins, the big bucket seats need to be next to a window. Yeah. And they give the other what one What does Karis room. need? Does she have her I think it's just nap time. <laughs> I can't even see uh, Hallie and Toby back there. Can you go right in the back for a little bit? Should I go back there? I want to go back there. No, I'll go back there. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Karis. Are you happy to see me back here? You're like, hey, what are you doing? You silly daddy. Hi, Tubbs. Hi. Hi, Hallie. Guys, come sit back here with you. Okay. All right, here we go. What crammed it mean? Crammed means when everyone's really tight together. So you're not crammed right now because you have like a whole seat next to you, see? I 
There's no one sitting in. So you got lots of space, right? You're not crammed right now. Uh-uh, but Toby's here. Toby's crammed? Are you crammed, Toby? I think Toby's doing okay. Dan is in a parking lot. Oh, I Can saw. I, oh, did you some, like, did country you store? What? Did oh, maybe I did. <laughs> I was I'm driving. messing with this stuff up there trying to see what's going on. You're warning people that your wife is driving. What are you doing? I'm going to check and see how well I got in the parking spot. Oh, okay. But I had to do a pull through. <laughs> <laughs> a pull through spot? That's all right. No shame in that. How, much, how good are you over there? I've got quite a bit of space over uh -huh. here. I got like a foot. Me too. Oh, all right. Bad. I'm going to back up and get into one of those spots. Okay. All right. Now, which one of these spots are you going to test out? Just pick a spot and go for it. This one right. This one right. Yes, here. it is cheese right. pups. It's too. I can't. So, I can't do it. I, th mm. I can't do it. You what? You try and see what you think. All right. I think you. Yeah. I think you are kind of over on this side a yeah, little bit. Yeah. I far. totally would have knocked out both cars if there were any next to me. But then I can pull through and get here. Yeah. Tim's parking test. I feel like we're actually like taking like driver's ed testing. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna turn up this. Aisle, like I was pulling to go shopping at the county market. <laughs> and then say, should I try shopping? Don't park, don't, don't no. try it right next to actual I'll objects. Try, I'll try this one right here. Let's okay, this one right, right here. This one right here. The one that you're. I'm going way over on that. Side. <laughs> we would have totally smashed. And yeah, that was not a good parking. <laughs> not at all. It's right. harder than you think, huh? Yeah, let me try again. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't, deal. I don't think there's a way to do it without taking out the cars next to you. I think you're, yeah, you need to find a spot that's at the back of the parking lot open. that nobody is around and pray that nobody parks next to you. Exactly. Or you always have to be in the pull through spot so you can just go straight out. Yeah, you want to go back? Yeah, I think we need to be done. Um, I, I don't know. It makes me nervous because it's really close quarters in there. So I have to drive it. <laughs> We're back again. There's our car. It looks so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Did a good job getting us back. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't hit anything. No. That's one thing about this car. We gotta make sure we leave enough room whenever we park for these doors to open. Door. Got this handle right here. And you just pull it open. Like that. See? Alright kiddos, say goodbye to the van. Goodbye. What'd you guys think of the car? I liked it. I liked it. I'm gonna get buy it. You wanna buy it? You like the Hannah? What did you like about it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, like, I like that we could go in the trunk. <laughs> Play around in the back. There's a lot of room in the back, huh? Camping one night, we could put our sleeping bag the bags back there and stay back there. Oh, well, that's not as fun as just sleeping in the tent, though, isn't it? <laughs> well, <sleeping> Maybe. In <laughs> <laughs> but the real question is, what did you think about the car? It wasn't as bad driving it as I expected it to be. I was really nervous driving it. At I first, still, right? Yeah, I mean, I still will be like super cautious driving that van. Yeah, I think, it, I think it drove more like a van than... It did. The turning was better than not I thought. bad at all. Parking, not so great. <laughs> not but the guy who, uh, the car salesman showed us like, you know, well, the spot you got it out of is the spot that it was, like I just pulled right in. And it was a pretty tight spot, so it might be that it just takes some time and getting used to to be able to pull the parking spots. But right now we're not so we're good. We're just gonna with get it. a lot of extra exercise and more. Yeah. <laughs> so where it stands right now is um, one. We're gonna do some shopping at some other cars and and check some other ones out just because you know I don't want to just look at one and then buy that one. Plus I want to get some negotiating going on and see where we can get, about the, get the best deal. The way we handle the money side of buying new cars is we just save. Uh, we don't do car payments. Uh, we, you know, we just save money knowing that eventually the cars we're driving are gonna need to be replaced. And so it's not like a surprise when that happens is because we no, like it's just, it happened. Everyone's cars eventually break down. They get old, they stop working, whatever you eventually, like I'll grow it like we have. I mean, you eventually just need to buy a new car. So we've been saving ever since we bought the last van. And so uh, we'll use them, that money to buy this, this uh, new van. And then once we spend that money, we'll start saving all over again. Uh, hopefully this a 12 passenger van though should last us you know hopefully a good 10 years and then plus we usually have more negotiating power and a little bit more wiggle room to bargain like to you know get a good price uh, on the car when we're just paying with cash 
so I think it works to our benefit also. Dan and I are wrapping up our evening by doing more research. Some of the cars we're looking at were rent are rental cars, so we um, wondering if buying a rental car, a former rental car, is a good idea. Uh, if you have any suggestions or experience with the Ford Transit or the Nissan MV or the Chevy, what's the Chevy one we're looking at? Express. Chevy Express. Um, any of those. Love to hear them. Comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Excited to go on this journey with you guys. And we will see you guys again tomorrow for another day of VEDA. See you then. Bye.